we encourage you and actually just recommend and suggest that you read this book before the Art with the Heart time. Or you have a volunteer read the book with them at another station. The very first day for this lesson is um, a lot of paint. Each student is going to paint three pieces of paper on their own. So you can imagine how much needs to happen within that one station in, to get all the students done with painting all of their papers. So you're gonna wanna read this book sometime outside of that station. When you're reading the book, um, in addition to pointing out all the standard stuff that you do when you read with students, you want to really help them to understand how these pictures were made. This very first inside cover is a great place to start as far as how do you make painted paper, how to decorate your own paper, how to add texture into paint. Um, you can start by asking the students, how do you think this was made? How do you think the artist created this color on the paper? Did they use one color of paint? Did they use more than one? Do you think they mixed it before? Did they mix it on the paper? Ask them how they made, how these lines were made, do they think? Um, and get to the point where the students understand that the lines were actually made by taking something and dragging it across the paint while it was still wet, so it makes these cool marks that changes the way that the paint looks and textures that picture. As you're reading the book, you want to also take the time to not only talk about how painted paper is created and how you can make unique pieces of paper in, in ways that you might not have thought of and they're all going to look different, but also what collage is and how an artist collages stuff. Collage is taking different pieces of something and building a picture rather than drawing a picture. So when you look at maybe this page in particular, you're looking at that truck. How did the artist create that truck? Did they draw that truck? Did they color that truck? Was the truck made by taking pieces of paper and building it? The students will nod their head and say yes, because they'll start to really be able to look and see. It's very um, interesting how Eric Carle takes, not only makes these very intricate pictures and illustrations with collage, but how you can actually see how it's cut out, how it's cut out pieces of paper. You can see the individual pieces of paper in the box. You can look at the wheel and see that there's a large kind of blackish circle and then a medium white circle and then a small yellow circle. So each wheel has three pieces of paper on it. One big black, one medium white, and one small yellow helping the students to understand that collage is fun but it also is a lot of work because you, for each wheel you have to have three pieces of paper. Another thing about this book, it's a nice time to point out and reinforce their knowledge of the horizon line. Almost every paper has a very clear horizon line and the students will be eager to point that out to you if you ask them. Helping them to recognize the horizon line not just in their letter books and some of their other art but also around the world and in other images can talk about how the water changes color when it goes from calm sea to rough sea and thinking about just things other than what we're actually doing with this lesson but is in art everywhere how you change you know the the color of your picture to show a different feeling or or how you might um, you know use quick movements for your for your texturizing because it's going to be part that's going to be the stormy part and storms are quick things like that to help them connect to other aspects of their world.